Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I am going to be showing you all how you can pretty much turn your phone or iPod or whatever as long as it's Bluetooth capable into an OBD2 reader. So first off, this is what we're going to need. We're going to need the phone itself. Uh, I will be using a Galaxy S 4G. This is on Android. You can also use this on an iPhone or whatnot. You'll need to get the app that is compatible. So I'm going to go over to the Play Store right here, Google Play, and uh, you could just look up OBD2. Uh, that's what you're going to be looking for, and there is this program right here called Torque Lite. Now, you can buy the Pro version if you feel like you need it, but honestly, you probably won't need it in the end. So what we want to do is go ahead, hit install, hit accept and download, and download the program. As you can see, it's pretty small, just downloaded within half a second, and from there, we can boot up our program. But first we need to get a hold of a device as well that will allow us to do this because this is Bluetooth. Now of course if you've ever done an OBD2 reading you will know that just having that program on your phone is not enough. You need a device to actually go in your car. So you can use a Bluetooth device. There are several you know nice expensive ones that you can get but you can just use this instead. I just got an OBD scan tool. All you have to do is look up on eBay. Just go onto there and look up OBD2 Bluetooth. That's all you have to look up. This is just a little $15 one. It's much cheaper than a regular OBD scanner would be. And also I do like it because since it's on my phone, I can immediately check the air codes right there and all that stuff. And in addition to that, that's for doing uh, the check engine lights. Um, on top of that, it beats going down to AutoZone or your buddy's house or any place like that or buying one of these. And uh, this has many other features, but now I will show you how these two are going to work in conjunction with each other. Alright, well I apologize for the lighting on this section, but this is where we're going to have to plug in the OBD tool. Now, I have it right here, I'm just going to have to plug it in just this way. You're going to have to make sure everything matches, so you're probably going to have to go underneath like you know where your feet go and find the plug that matches this. This is an OBD2 plug, it's universal on most cars, I think after like the mid 90s or 80s, something like that. I don't remember exactly when it was, but normally you can find your OBD uh, part just uh, where your pedals are going to be just look up your car like the make and model and year and you'll be able to find it online I guarantee it all right now once you find where your OBD2 sensor is you're going to have to put your car into accessory mode if you're gonna stay here for more than five minutes five or ten minutes then I would highly recommend turning on the car so you don't drain down your battery but since this will only be for about one or two minutes pop it into accessory mode just like so once you do that, make sure you turn off a stereo or anything like that, just so you don't run down your battery. But from here, we are going to have to sync up our Bluetooth device to our phone. Alright guys, so I have the phone right here. Now, I just installed Torque, but what you're going to have to do is turn on Bluetooth. Now, mine is set up so that it will scan for devices and such, and I have it right here. It's called OBD2 ECU. Now, I already paired it on this phone, but normally if you do pair it, it will say something like, um, at least on Android, it says it's going to ask for a password. Normally the password will be four zeros or it will be one, two, three, four. So it's either zero, 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 zero or one, two, three, four. You might want to check your manual if you did get one with your device. However, since this is just a cheap little $15 eBay device, I did not get one with this. So what we're going to do is we are going to power up Torque right here. Now it's going to give me a few options as you can see. Uh, it gives me the splash screen, it gives me another one, a Bluetooth bug is what it's warning me about, and you can even enable GPS if you want to. Now normally it's going to say right here on your first setup, no paired Bluetooth device is set. What you need to do is you need to go to your settings, you need to go over to more, and then over here, go to settings, again, and come down until you see Bluetooth preferences and device. Right here you can find it, OBD2 ECU. Select that and you should be good to go. You can go back right there and as you can see it is connecting. Now I know there are a lot of hoops to go through on this but you know that's just how this program is set up. You might have an easier program but in my opinion this is pretty much the best program that you can use on Android. So you just have to give it about a minute to go through all of this. And I don't have a check engine light on my car right now that I can show you all, but you can clear check engine light codes. However, please do this at your own risk. Um, I will not assume any responsibility for this, what happens, but once it says connected to ECU OK, you are good to go. Now, if some of you are wanting to check your check engine light, you go to settings, you have to come over to actions, and then hit show logged faults. 
Now that will find if there's any fault codes. It might have a fault code on mine, I'm not sure, because I had one earlier, but it shows no fault codes right here as you can see. Now if you want to clear them out, you go to settings again, you go to action, and you say clear logged faults. But the cool thing is, if you do have a fault code, you can use your phone to find out what code it is, then what the code means, and then you can even look it up directly through there, so it's really nice. In addition to that, you have all these other things, you can email yourself the logs, you can toggle logging for your car, you can drive your car around and have this running, but you can come to more, uh, you can reset your trip counters, all this other stuff. Pretty much this is like a master key to your car, like the computer in your car. So it's very nice, and I mean, you could just spend hours playing with this if you really want to. I have an accelerator here, and I have, uh, yeah, just two accelerators set up, just except in different ways, just because I was kind of messing around. However, I don't recommend, you know, just keeping this out and like keeping it down here and playing with it while you're driving your car because you will get distracted. So that is it. Once you are done, you can just pull the keys out of your car, and then you're going to have to disconnect where your OBD2 Bluetooth device is. So to wrap this up, you all can see that if you already have a phone or a iPod that has Bluetooth capabilities, then all you need is to spend about $10, $20 on one of these, just somewhere around there, and you'll be able to use that. Now, I do prefer these compared to an actual reader due to the fact that I can actually look up everything on the spot, and they do have more features. I mean, these are facts. Even for a free program, Torque is incredibly awesome. I haven't noticed any ads on it or anything like that. Then again, I do have ad-free. So so that might make a difference. Now one thing a lot of people use these for is clearing out your check engine light errors. Uh, you can do that, however, make note that you will be taking a risk on that. Uh, there are several people who they have check engine lights on their cars and their cars are messing up and they just decide to clear the check engine light before they sell the car. So be leery of that or I might have given you all some ideas, I'm not sure. But uh, just use this at your own risk, make sure you know what you're doing with your car. I just have to warn you all on this. Anyways. Just wanted to show you all how this worked, and um, I do recommend getting one of these if you are interested. But again, you have to make sure you do have a Bluetooth compatible device and you have an application that can run this. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Hope I helped you all out.